Hi and welcome back. This time I'm going to can some of the veggies that we harvested in the last video. And first off I'm going to cut up some of the cabbage to make some coleslaw. And I don't think that I showed in the last video that we also harvested those red cabbages in the background. But they are really really beautiful and they taste really good. So we will definitely be growing them again. And I'm salting the cabbage while I'm doing it just to draw out some of the moisture and to give it some taste. And I'm making two different kind of things. So I have two buckets, uh, the one with the green cabbage and one with the red cabbage. And uh, I'm also going to chop up some carrots and some kohlrabi later on. And I dropped some of the red cabbage on the floor, so Eki was eating some of it. But now that she's on camera, she doesn't. She don't want to do it anymore. And now I have a mountain of the red cabbage that I'm going to pickle later on, and I'm on to the carrots. I'm just cutting off the bad spots and the, the top and the end part and then I'm going to shred them in my food processor. Then I have this really big kohlrabi that I'm also going to shred in the food processor and uh, I'm making a coleslaw where I'm using it in and just cutting off where the leaves were and I'm also peeling it because the skin gets a little tough when they are this big. And I'm also using some of the smaller rutabagas that we harvested the other day. These won't keep as well as the bigger ones and they also have some bad spots. So I thought it was would be best just to use them right away. And now back to the red cabbage. I'm going to pickle it, <coughs> to pickle it. But uh, first off, I'm going to fry them in my really big pan just to soften it up. And I'm going to put some spices on and make a brine. Mm. 
We also had a few apples from the garden that I'm cutting up and uh, putting into the red cabbage just to give it uh, just um, some sweetness and some sour flavor. And then for the brine, I'm using some uh, apple cider vinegar and some um, erythritol to sweeten it. You could also use some sugar and some balsamic vinegar. And then mixing it around just to heat everything up. And now I'm on to the coleslaw where I'm shredding everything in my food processor. It makes it a lot quicker to do such a big portion that I'm doing here. So I don't have to shred everything by hand. And when it's shredded I'm putting it into this bucket and uh, putting some salt on that as well. And now the red cabbage is ready to put into the jars. So I'm just putting um, all of the cabbage into the jars and then I have the liquid um, back in the pan. And then uh, I'll just put uh, it on top of the cabbage so there will be the right uh, amount of uh, space on top of it. And now I'm making the brine for the coleslaw. So once again I'm using some apple cider vinegar and just some regular vinegar. And also some water. And this is um, mustard seeds and some erythritol. And I'm heating it up to dissolve the erythritol and um, then I'm just mixing uh, all of this cabbage and carrots and kohlrabi around and putting it into the jars and then I'll uh, pour on the liquid afterwards and I'm packing it down a lot um, and then I'll use a toothpick just to get the brine covered um, and so that there's no air bubbles inside. And then I'm wiping up the rim of the glass before I, I put on the lids so that they will have a nice seal. I have this really big electric water bath canner that I'm using. So I just put in all of the jars and I just have to put in a little more uh, water to get it high enough. So I both have all of my coleslaw and my red pickled cabbage that I'm putting in. And then I can just put on the lid and set the temperature and the timer. And when the time is up, just taking out all of the jars and letting them cool so that the, they can seal. And uh, then I'm putting it, them into my pantry and they're ready for use. And we have already used some of it and it was really uh, easy to make a coleslaw or um, egg roll in a bowl. I also used it in. 
and the root cabbage we in Denmark we usually use that to a pork roast or something like that so that's easy to have them on hand and this is how all of them look when they're finished <clears throat> and um, I really hope that you enjoyed the video and that you want to subscribe and also go to Inst Instagram and check out Vesta's Palm Life over there. Bye!